Get out everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. Cheers. It's very late here. And I've been watching some YouTube. It's been a long time since I've watched any YouTube, let alone been involved with producing anything for YouTube. Uh, but um, I did produce a bunch of stuff or filmed a bunch of stuff a couple of weeks ago on one of my cameras which uh, has gone missing. I don't know where that camera's gone. I've got a feeling it may have been stolen out of the van when I stopped at the post office to drop off some um, uh, some packages from Knights of Dice. I might have accidentally left the car unlocked or pressed the unlock button on the remote instead of the lock button. So that camera is, excuse me, somewhere in the ether. It's probably here in the house somewhere. I just can't find it. It's probably in this room. And given the state of this room um, at home, yeah, could be uh, a long time before I find it. Anyway, I wanted to put the camera on. You know, I've been watching uh, some YouTube, as I think I may have mentioned, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm working on some um, some of our uh, Tabula Raza desert buildings recently. Um, had all my airbrushes out. Out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven airbrushes I have, none of them work. They're, they're either old and cheap and crappy from China, or my, both my badges aren't working, they need replacement parts, which I just can't seem to get. Uh, it's damn annoying. Anyway, so I didn't want to put the camera on and have a rant. I thought I'd put the camera on and start seeing if I can get back into doing some hobby work at home. I'm very, very busy, uh, obviously, with Knights of Dice. Um, that I don't get a lot of time to sit down and uh, put the cameras on. Um, and I'd like to try and change that. And I think the best way to change that is to just start doing it, right? So um, here we are. Let's have a bit of a look around at what I've been doing. Let's start on the computer desk. As I mentioned, I've been watching YouTube. I love this guy, um, Von Ketteringham. Um, I don't know, he's just a real down-to-earth sort of channel. He does a lot of historical stuff, and I enjoy listening to him. Um, and so I thought I'll put some YouTube on, and he was the first person I decided to put on. Um, a lot of other crap sitting on this desk. I bought some Infinity miniatures recently. These are uh, painted Huck Islam figures, which I thought would work well for a whole bunch of different sorts of... Uh, of games. I haven't played Infinity, I'd like to, um, so obviously they're for Infinity, but uh, they'll be used for a bunch of other stuff. Shopping for more airbrush components, what a pain in the butt that is. Alright, so let's have a look. We'll talk about the brewery later on, and um, I've just kegged, actually let's talk about it right now. Um, I've just kegged some mango pale ale, so there's a keg in the fridge there, and uh, ignore what is written on that fridge. Um, and there's a keg in there to take to the studio. Anyway, so this is what I've been working on, some of the Tabula Raza desert buildings. Um, let me just get this one out of this box here. So obviously they're very, very simple um, MDF buildings, lots of exposed joints and pegs and stuff, and really designed as a shell for you to do whatever you want with. Um, and I've decided to do this little, this little desert village um, so I did assemble them all, I sanded the, all the edges of them, this one hasn't been sanded but just with a sandpaper take off this square edge, round off these corners and whatnot, um, just so they're not so perfect and, um, and then I textured them, let's grab this one if we can and then I textured them, covered the gaps with uh, just a little bit of wall filler I don't know if we can really see very well. Covered the gaps with some wall filler and then I sprayed them very gently. Actually, here's one that was not painted. So I just covered the gaps with some wall filler and then sprayed it. You can see all that speckle pattern is a granite effects um, spray paint from Bunnings here. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of different sorts of textured sprays you can find in your area. And then obviously gone ahead and started base coating them in black and, um, and then the, the base brown color with the airbrush. And I got this far and then all of my brushes just decided to just not work. Well, they weren't working properly in the first place. Uh, I struggled to get through this bit, but I've had enough now of those airbrushes. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. I really want to get this finished, but you know, those airbrushes are holding me back. So I might just have to uh, pull out some brushes and, and do it by hand. Oh, let's climb over this stack of crap. Oh, right, here we go. So let's turn this off. 
finally got my airbrush, this cheap airbrush mm, booth vented out up, oh, watch that light, out through my ceiling. Um, you know, for something that costs 60 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever it was, this is worth every one of those dollars. Yeah, it's, it's, actually that kind of made it sound like it was good, but it's not. It's not worth any of those dollars. It's a piece of rubbish. Um, you know, you know, it's just, it's no good. It's absolutely no good. Anyway, but it's nice to have it. It does work. Um, this, these little mats here, um, they get super dirty. You've got to keep those clean. Um, you can see it's just, it's not a fantastic unit. Anyway, there we go. So that's what I've been spraying in. And none of my brushes, both my Patriot and my Anthem, aren't working. The, um, the little uh, valve inside my um, Anthem isn't working properly here, so air doesn't come out properly. The needle on my Patriot is bent. There's seals missing from my Badger here, from the Anthem. Um, these were, were good brushes, but I mean, and I'm sure with some replacement parts, they'll still be good brushes. But you know, all of this crap here is is just destined for for recycling. No good. They're, they're all right if you need little bits and pieces, but you know, no good, no good. So my workstation at home here is a mess. It is a mess. I really need to sort it out. This is not booze. Um, this is some isopropyl um, with a danger sign on it uh, for cleaning the airbrushes, obviously. Um, shelves and stuff with unorganized bits and pieces. My neighbor was clearing some stuff out and had these shelves out on their footpath. So I thought, oh yeah, they'd be perfect to put on top of my desk and we can stack more stuff inside them. Um, yeah, so this space I'd like to get cleared. My TV that used to be here that I watched DVDs on when I was working here, I smashed when I was drunk one night at the homebrew Christmas party. I uh, knocked a shelf onto it and it smashed. So these shelves are just sitting in their place. They need to get sorted out. And then my brewery, which I've been using. It's time for another beer. The fridges are all empty. That fridge has been used as a fridge. And then these are my two fermenting fridges, both of which have nothing in them at the moment. Um, aside from that keg of beer, which can probably go to the studio. So there we go, nothing terribly exciting, but you know, don't expect too much from this channel moving forward. Uh, my days of being able to spend a lot of time producing tutorials are gone. Um, and as I've mentioned before, this will just be me sharing my hobby now. So this is part of my hobby, my messy, messy workspace. Hopefully I can get it cleaned up and sorted out and organized and and actually start getting some miniatures painted, getting some scenery made here at home and painted in the evenings for uh, my collection of stuff here. And then who knows, that may uh, sort of lead to an explosion of videos and a little bit of organization at the studio and um, battle reports and who knows what might happen, right? Who knows? So the first step is to put the camera on and film something. So that's what I'm doing. Hope you're all keeping well. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. See ya.